and welcome to another episode of So Duh. Oh, it could be carbs. It could be carbs. It's so close. Hey, we've got four new flavors of Mountain Dew. Uh, the one I'm going to do by itself, because I think I'm going to bunch the other ones up into, uh, you know, one video, because they're like, it's like a USA, pro USA flavors. It's very strange. Um, the one I'm doing by itself, though, here is Infinite Swirl. So this is, it looks like it's pineapple, and I think that's it, like just pineapple flavored. Um, but this is a 7-Eleven exclusive. This is only going to be at 7-Eleven. Color looks weird. Uh, you know, usually I don't do Mountain Dew flavors all that often anymore, personally or professionally. But the reason why I'm doing this, uh, one, they're all over the place. Everybody's promoting them. Uh, and it really interested me, uh, specifically the 7-Eleven one, because they don't really get exclusives all that often. So, yeah, we're going to open this thing up and check it out. Let's go. Food review. I did just see on here as I was opening it. It's pineapple berry flavor. Uh, you know, so many Mountain Dews just taste the same, though. They're good. You know, like, I, they're my childhood for sure. Uh, I specifically grew up on Code Red. You guys know that's my favorite of all time. What is your favorite Mountain Dew flavor of all time? And here's a little, little topper. What's your favorite flavor? And if you could modify it somehow by adding another ingredient or flavor to it, what would you do? I think Mountain Dew Code Red with like Skittles would be pretty interesting. Skittles is usually my go-to answer, Skittle or combos. Uh, but let's get this thing going. Infinite Swirl exclusive flavor at 7-Eleven. That's pretty refreshing. It kind of reminds me of Baja Blast a little bit, but good because... You guys know I hate Baja Blast. I just don't think it's very good at all. I really like how the pineapple is, uh, it's like calmed down a little bit by the berry. Like the berry kind of brings it, brings it back to the table from being too extreme. Because I love pineapple, but sometimes it can be just like a little too much. Does also taste a little bit how, uh, you know, like car uh, refresher, is who refresher? The, the things that make cars smell better? Why <laughs> I'm having an old man brain meltdown. Uh, but like those, it's like like a candle. It's just, it's kind of a, it's not kind of, it's extremely artificial. But I don't think it's bad by any means. You know, old Matt, high school Matt, college Matt would have drank the crap out of this thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's all right. And also I was thinking of like one of these, one of those. What the fuck are those called again? <laughs> what are those called? Damn it. Every comment's going to be that now. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. It, it, I almost feel like just a Mountain Dew pineapple flavor would have been better. Uh, but I understand why they threw the berry in there. It makes it a little more interesting. And maybe they've already done a pineapple one. I can't recall. I'm going to rate this a... Because you guys know I'm just not a soda drinker anymore. I'm going to rate that a... Uh, give it a high three. It's not, like, great. It's still, Code Red's still the best one of all time, in my opinion. Uh, but it's not terrible either. And, yeah, you can get that exclusively at 7-Eleven. Hey, tomorrow's video... And by tomorrow, I mean you know, whenever our post happens, the 7-Eleven exclusive Slurpee Twinkie flavor is going to be the deal. Man, why is 7-Eleven getting all this exclusive stuff all of a sudden? It's very, very strange. But hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure to back us on Patreon if you want access to all the deleted content from the past. And enjoy this Twitch clip. See you soon. Story of this game. I thought Brownout was your, the, when you shoot yourself. Ah! Mid.